if you're looking for the real why, I have a feeling you're in deep shit. <laughs> that I'm not sure there is a real why. Um, so if you're looking for it, you may never, ever find it. Um, if you're not experiencing joy, when you say get it back, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know that everybody always had it. But if you did have it, I would go back to where you did have it, take that feeling and find out what you could attach it to in the future. It's easier to find things that fit with the feeling when you're actually having the feeling. And if you have memories in your past where you were very joyful, and then people will always tell me, they'll go, well, but I was with this person, but you know, they passed away or they left me or blah, 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 or I had this great job. Uh, one of the women I worked with once uh, had a, she, her, her husband died. She lost her job as a rocket scientist and, uh, and, and her parents disowned her for some reason. And so she, she was on the edge of suicide. And uh, when she came to me, she said, you know, I had the perfect life. I'll never be able to get it back. And uh, I thought, well, you know, if, if, if you've got nothing to lose, then that should mean you're in the position to try everything. Milton Erickson once told me about a suicidal he worked with and he asked the person came in and said they were gonna kill themselves. And he said, well, he said, you know, how much money do you have in the bank? And then he said, I want you to go out and get new clothes, get a haircut, get, you know, do this. And they had a little gap in their teeth and he had them practice spitting between the gap in their teeth. And he had them go up and start spitting little things to, to people that they didn't know. And two weeks later, they were meeting people, going out and having a good time. And uh, with this particular woman, uh, oddly enough, uh, she, she uh, you know, changed the way she was thinking about it. Because once you think you have nothing to lose, I said, look, you're an engineer. You've got nothing to worry on. Why don't you engineer a new way of thinking about your problems? You know, if, if, it, was a, if it was an engineering problem, you should be able to engineer something that has you look for somebody else, you know, and you know, because your husband's dead, you should start thinking about what you enjoyed about him and looking for somebody that gives you that kind of joy. And a year later, she uh, not only found somebody, uh, but oddly enough, after years, actually decades and decades of being told she could never get pregnant by medical doctors, she ended up getting pregnant. And uh, it was just one of those weird things. And then suddenly her parents came back because they wanted to know the grandchildren. Everything turned itself around because instead of dwelling upon how dark things are, she started trying to engineer her mind, taking good feelings and then aiming towards the future to find out where you can have those. Because we're all capable of feeling just about anything. 